Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So, there are seven more episodes left in The Walking Dead Season 10. We're just a few days away from Episode 10, and then there will be 11, 12, all the way to 16, and then there will be the six-month whatever break, then we'll get the Season 11 premiere. So, we might be getting some interesting events in this back half, the, the beginning of the Whisperer War, maybe the whole Whisperer War, but I doubt it. Probably the death of Alpha. Probably the death of one or two beloved characters, Michonne's big final episode, she's probably going to find out Rick's alive, and maybe some crazy new stuff, the introduction of Princess, the introduction of the Commonwealth, and, and maybe some new things, so it's possible that 10B could be really good. I actually liked episode 9. I know some people didn't, some people did, but I liked episode 9, so I'm hoping that 10B is able to be an improvement over 10A's kind of filler with the whole sickness and Dante and water and sickness stuff. It, it just seemed like 10A was a little too fillery, a little too heavy on the filler. But 10B might be crazy. We, we might be getting some deaths, some, some crazy stuff happening. So with episode 14, I'm wondering if episode 14 is going to end up being like a crazy episode where there's one or two major deaths. Because the, there's sort of been a tradition with episode 14 of almost every season of The Walking Dead. With uh, season 4, episode 14, there was The Grove. That was the episode where Lizzie turns out to be crazy and she kills Mika and Carol has to kill her. Episode 14 of season 5 was the crazy episode where Aiden and Noah violently died. And episode 14 of season 6, that was the episode where Denise Cloyd gets shot through the eye. And then season 7, technically nothing big happens in episode 14, but episode 14 was supposed to be Bury Me Here, where Richard and Ben die. Richard accidentally gets Ben killed when he's trying to sacrifice himself to start the war, but Ben dies instead, and then Morgan later on kills Richard. That was supposed to be episode 14, but it got switched and it became episode 13. So that was meant... That was meant to be episode 14, so that's four years straight. And then season 8, episode 14, no good guys we like die, but that's the episode where Morgan and Rick, they go out, and there's a bunch of callbacks to the original years. You, uh, you know, w Morgan says everyone turns, and, and there's a bunch of references, car carols with Morgan for a little while. But, they, but Rick and Morgan end up killing like 10 saviors. 20 saviors, Richard dies, the, the savior that Morgan hates. So that was episode 14 of season 8. Then episode 14 of season 9 was the flashback episode with Michonne and her friend, her her whatever, her friend that she used to knew, and that, that little army of kids that were crazy kids that tried to like recruit Judith as like a cult or something and Michonne ended up having to kill most of the kids and kill the the woman that was her friend. So that that kind of counts. So for the most part, episode 14 tends to be a crazy episode. Usually there's one or two deaths, but they're not necessarily deaths of long-term characters. They tend to be deaths of characters in their first season. Like Noah, Richard, Ben, Denise Cloyd. So episode 14 we could be seeing one or two characters die that like this they've just been introduced this season maybe we could base theories off of that so so maybe Jules or, or so someone like that but who knows they could also kill long long time characters or they could kill no one it could just be a crazy episode but usually there's a death or two in episode 14 so who knows but yeah, what do you think episode 14 will continue the tradition and there will be like some deaths? Will it be a really good episode? It also tends to be a really good episode and a really crazy episode. So what do you think will happen in episode 14? What do you think um, episode 14 will be about? Just let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day. So please hit that subscribe button. Right now we are at 770 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 800 in the next few months. So just remember, every subscriber counts. Every bit of support matters and is very, very appreciated. Hopefully we can get to that goal of 800. Anyway, with all that said, I am Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye.